Alright, I'm mad. I was at least maybe an hour, not even an hour, like, I'm not even gonna lie, maybe not even an hour, like 30, maybe like 20, 30 minutes into a video. Nah, 30 or 40, I don't remember. This stupid app stopped recording. I'm so mad right now. It's whatever. So today we're doing what if Deku had a toxin quirk, you know, and yeah, this is hero costume minus the spiked fist, you know, all the knives in the noose. Yeah, it's pretty much is pretty much what it looks like. It's going to look like. Now, you may be wondering, but red. What's going on? Basically, Midoriya's his quirk allows him to, you know, create neurotoxins. Not only neurotoxins, but is Bane's venom considered a neurotoxin? Question mark. Because I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it is. I don't know. Yeah, basically, Midoriya can make a bunch of toxins that can do different things. He also has syringes that can go in and out of his fingers that allow him to inject a stronger variant. And if you and if he wants to, he his lungs are a lot bigger. On you know, it's like Time Lord tech. Pretty much, his lungs are bigger than they actually are. You know, so it'll fit in his body, but in all actuality, somehow, some way, they're a lot bigger. Like, they can take a lot more air. And he can also release, you know, because his heart is also kind of like a bioreactor, pretty much. His heart is pretty much a giant chem, chem factory, I guess you could call it chemical factory man's a walking chemical warfare waiting to happen not even gonna lie man's is terrifying anyway Midoriya you know uh, he can do pretty much it you know he can alter he can accelerate someone's healing by the you know the toxins he can complete you know the toxins that and if he does like a gas version he can completely manipulate the toxins outside of his body. You know, he can do almost, he can do a lot of crazy, crazy stuff. Now, uh, basically, Midoriya's quirk actually activates in high school when he's being bullied by Bakugo. You know, Bakugo hits him in the chest, and that triggers his quirk. Because the adrenaline, you know, just because I'm gonna say, you know, it just activates, releasing a, you know, a fear toxin that, you know, because Bakugo was the closest, and he also, the toxin, you know, the, uh, when he breathes out the toxin from his lungs, it's like 20 times stronger. Which makes it 40 times stronger than actual, what's his name, Scarecrow's toxin. Because when he just releases it out, it's 20 times stronger than the original. You know, and you know, he can do the injection thing. And these, now they don't come out very far. They're really, really close to his fingers. But you can't just press it up against his finger and it'll prick you. No, he has to, like, make it come out. Because it's, like, in, in his bone. Now. When, you know, Baku breathes in this super the super neurotoxin that is released from his lungs he instantly passes out 
you know, he's put into a super nightmare, you know, he's put into a comatose, like, state, you know, a medically induced coma, pretty much, but it's an internal, you know, very eternal nightmare, the only thing that can take someone out of this is Midnight's Quirk, which I totally forgot her real name, and this is is the only one because her quirk counteracts Deku's toxins. Now Midoriya can make a stronger variant of hers. So, you know, they're gonna get along real well. Also, uh, this is also going to be, you know, it's going to be two girls and Deku. So it's going to be Deku and Deku X Namori or, you know, Midnight X Momo Yairenzu, because she would probably be able to make a gas mask in antidotes to his toxins. And Midori is going to fear his quirk, because in high school, it triggered by accident, and pretty much everyone in his high school was affected because the giant cloud j you know when he released it from out of his body and not breathing it out you know what i mean like it can go out of his pores all throughout his body you know when he does when he did that it engulfed the entire it, the entire inside of the school causing everyone to be you know, to pretty much go crazy, terrified. And Midnight pulled up, you know, she started releasing her, you know, her quirk powers. No more, I gotta remember that name. Oh boy. And, you know, she finds Midoriya, she comforts him, you know, yada, 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 yada. Time skip, UA's a college in this. Namori is out, son of a biscuit is actually 22 in this and Deku is 18 and so is Momo oh boy now Midoriya also met All Might and a few other pro heroes he's also met Momo before because Momo was being trained by one of the pro heroes when he was at UA training his quirk because Pro heroes, as long as they get, you know, the, the parents' permission, are able to take in, you know, take in future students and train them if their quirks are similar and they can actually help them out. Because of Nomori's help, or Midnight, it, whatever you want, whichever one you want to call her, Midoriya is able to create a Bane, you know the Bane neurotoxin, the, not neurotoxin, but toxin? Where he's able to like buff up, you know, and become smarter. Yeah, he makes a like a version that's 500 times stronger, but you know his body stays stays the same size. He's also able to make a healing neurotoxin, pretty much. Not neuro, but you know, a healing toxin, where you know he's just prick. And in order to inject the bane to do the bane one. In the healing one, he has to use syringe, his syringe fingers because if he just lets it out, you know what I mean? If he, like, releases it normally, anyone can breathe it in and then, yeah. But he can all, he's also made reverses of those. Ones that deal damage and make you weaker and dumber. Because why not? He's also made one that turns your bones into gas, but we'll get to that one later. He's also made one that is acid. Just acid. You can make an acid cloud. Also, he has... Once the gas leaves his body, he has 100% complete control. Of the gas outside of his body. You know, he can make it engulf someone like an airbend you know how airbenders in avatar can make you know wind bubbles he can do that but with you know his quirk now you know midoriya he takes the normal ua exam 
you know, the normal entrance exam instead of the uh, recommendations because he wanted to show up Bakugo. And, you know, Momo was like, I'll take those two because it sounds cool. Now, Midoriya takes number one spot. You know, he got a whole full marks on the uh, written exam, you know, and the other tests. Now, for the practical exam, you know, Midoriya, you know, he makes his little finger things and he pricks himself, you know, he does, he jabs them into his arm, you know, you know, he does the Bane thing, you know, he, can all, he also hits himself with, now, he can't do them all in one because that would be too much and it could kill him, so he used three fingers, basically what I'm trying to say is, he has to, in order to inject multiple, he has to use multiple fingers. So he can't do any more than 10 different things at a time. 10 different injections at a time. Because if you were to infuse them all into one finger, you know, if he was all to inject all of it through one syringe, it would be a lethal dose and it would kill anyone. Like it would even kill All Might. Which he actually healed and All Might gave him his quirk. So yeah, he has one for all. Tell me if you want me to give him, like, the other quirks of one for all. I mean, he doesn't really need them, but, you know, why not? Give him one for all so his powers are even more stupid. So, yeah, all of his... Oh, God, I just realized what I did. Oh, Jesus. All of his freaking toxins are now, like... What? Doesn't it one for all double every user? So it's like... His quirk is now 18 times stronger because he's the ninth user. Oh my god, what have I created? Oh, this is the only thing I actually regret creating. Oh, lord. <laughs> oh, dear god. Oh, I feel bad. I feel really bad. Oh, lord, that means it's now... 10, no, it's like 1,000 times, now it's 80 times, no, oh god, I'm horrible at math, you tell me the numbers, if his quirk is 18 times stronger, how many times stronger is the gas compared to the normal toxins and gases and stuff in the DC universe, you can also make like a version of the Joker Venom, but it doesn't kill you, and just knocks you out. I mean, it can kill you if he wants it to, but for another day, for another day. Now, where was I? Oh yeah, uh, practical exam. <laughs> I'm an idiot. So, you know, he used his three frank, three, I, I feel dumb. He uses three fingers, you know, pricks himself in the arm, you know, injects the Bane Venom, uh, a senses boost, pretty much like a super adrenaline shot, and a super healing, you know, superhuman healing shot, you know, and you can see these toxins run into his veins, now you may be wondering, why can't he just pump them into his body normally? I'm a freaking idiot. <laughs> I gotta give him some kind of handicap, okay? Oh lord, I just realized that, I'm gonna be honest with you, I just realized he just totally just let it into his body normally, you know, not even having to inject himself. I gotta give him some kind of handicap, okay? He has to inject, you know, in order to use the toxins on himself, he has to inject himself. And, uh, you know, there is a limit to how much toxin he can, you know, how much toxin he can control outside uh, how much toxin you can control outside of his body so you know you know like an air in a, a you know an oxygen tank like a liquid oxygen tank uh, yeah do you know how much air compressed you know a compressed oxygen tank you, you know how much air is in those imagine a big one, a really, like the biggest one ever made, 
Now multiply that times 50. That's how much gas it would take before Midoriya, you know, finally is like, ugh, too much. And you can also just make the gas disperse. Like, it's just pff, normal air. Because the added chemicals are biochemicals. Basically, his body creates biochemicals that he adds to air when he releases it as gas. He adds it to air, and then, you know, he has full control over these biochemicals. He can just destroy them. You know, they just disappear. They kind of disintegrate. You know, turning into, like, different air molecules, but, you know, they no longer affect the air. It's pretty neat. I'm BSing this so hard. Anyway, I should get back to the actual story and stop explaining everything, because y'all came here to see Scarecrow Midoriya absolutely rip and tear through every robot, and that is what he shall do. You know, so he starts literally ripping. Oh my god, I forgot I gave him one for all. <laughs> and because of his quirk, his normal quirk, not one for all, but because of... I'm just gonna call this quirk Scarecrow. Because of Scarecrow, he has full control of one for all. So, 100% one for all Midoriya, running around with a Bane toxin, probably like one, not even, probably like 19, like, oh dear God, I have to do math. a complete and utter fool. This is probably the strongest freaking Midori I've made. Oh boy. Not only that, but he's like 9,500 times smarter now too. Dear God. Oh Lord. I've created a monster. I have murdered the poor... Well, he's still an innocent Cinderella, but I've created an absolute disgusting creation. But we're not getting that. So, yeah, Midori is legit just tearing through robots. Wait. Not 9,500. It was 18. Whatever. A rough estimate. 9,500. Rough, rough estimate. Anyway. You know, so he's like ripping robots apart, you know. Everyone's like, what the heck? You know, he just is destroying all of them you know midnight eraser and uh all might are like that's our boy no all might no not midnight all might and uh i thought we were like that's our boy that's my son and midnight's like "Ooh, that's my boo thing i'm sorry i'm gonna stop now please kill me don't really but you know you're you're welcome to try <laughs> you're welcome to try anyway so uh nezu button <laughs> just nezu button <laughs> so you know midoriya you know the zero pointer shows up and midoriya's like isn't that a bit overkill you're like is that a bit overkill like why would we ever need to fight something that big i mean they but geez that's pretty big that's a, that's a, that's a big thing that's a big old robot robot my bot now you may be wondering uh how is midoriya gonna kill us you know fight this thing um, you're forgetting, Midoriya hasn't thrown a punch yet. You may be like, what? You know, maybe you're like, whoa, 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 wait. Back it up. He, what? Yeah, Mans hasn't thrown a punch yet. Not a one. He hasn't thrown a haymaker.
<laughs> I'm sorry, I just remembered a TikTok that would be perfect for this moment. Like a moment in the future that I have planned. And I might just play the TikTok because it's hilarious. Or I might just tell you it later. Oh, whatever. And so Midoriya, you know, he, he runs over, you know, and he's like faster than primal I'm like that's that's an understatement man's is, is fast if not faster than the flash not even the flash like the wally west flash you know the one that can go through that the one that can run through reality yeah the one who can alter about reality by running yep that wally west flash um I don't know. Man doesn't isn't connected to the speed force, so there will no be no speed forcing in this series. Just Godspeed, you know, Godspeed Izuku runs up. Hey, that's my thing. What you doing trying to take my thing, dude? Uh, you know, I, I'm like, dude, just calm down. I go back to your universe. We don't need you here. Go go. Go go. All right. It's time to start break. Stop breaking the fourth wall. Hit the rewind. All right, so after the rewind, you know, Midoriya, let, you know, he picks up the zero pointer and just kind of flips it back, you know, and Gaiyaros is the one under the rubble, so he saves her, you know, she, he notices that her leg's messed up, and he's like, do you trust me? You know, she's like, well, yeah, we trained together. Of course I trust you. Ow! All right, you know, so he makes a syringe, and she's, he like, hold still. You know, he pricks her leg because, you know, he pricks her upper thigh because her upper right thigh because her uh, entire her right leg was messed up it was broken and you know there was a bone sticking out so when this happened you know the bone snapped back into place and you know the wound that it was protruding out of healed up you know and her leg was all fixed and she's like how did you it's better you don't ask because I don't have the time to explain. Now I advise that you get up, go that way, while I destroy this thing. You know, as he says that, he gets up and he's like, "Oh yeah, this is gonna be fun. I'm about to turn you into a molten pile of." <laughs> Just he jumps up a little bit, crotch punch. You know, <laughs> the robot's eyes. You know, they do. You know how Midoriya was like, <laughs> when he got punched, you know, hit the robot's eyes go, you know, as it just melts, it just, you know, it goes flying out of the stratosphere, you know, it's in space now and it melts, it melts on the way up and he's like, that's what you get for hurting one of my boos, one of my babies, one of my baby boo, you know. And then, uh, you know, Min, you know, uh, Nomori is like, oh, so romantic, yeah, not really, you know, kind of romantic, you know, Min, and, uh, Momo is like, Midoriya, she's like, Izuku, what, Momo, it's okay, you know, he picks her up, you know, he helps her up, alright, let's go, the exam's over anyway. She's like, okay, you know, they start walking back to the front, you know, as, you know, they're walking, uh, Eraser, not Eraser, uh, President Mike's, you know, who was stunned, that's why he didn't say it earlier, was like, oh yeah, the, uh, exam is over, everyone go home, we'll give you your results later, can we just let these two in, you know, she's racked up some pretty good villain and rescue points, and this man legit minimized as much damage as possible and saved a few people while also taking out a majority of the robots like what so anyway i'm thoroughly convinced now though of something that i just realized and i feel really stupid for not realizing it sooner you know how some people think aoyama break you know is the, a fourth wall breaking god and man's knew about hero points not even Midoriya knew about that oh my god back on topic sorry 
my brain hurts. Anyway, I've been trying to do math this entire time, and I hate math. Math is like my weakest subject. Besides English. I hate crap at English. You know that by now. But anyway, enough of my problems, because I have too many to count. Uh, you know, Midoriya gets into UA. You know, he walk in. You know, he runs into Momo on the way you know, in her limo. And she's like, hey, you want to, you need a ride? And he's like, no, I don't see why not. You know, he gets in, even though he can use float and just fly, because yes, he's unlocked every quirk from one for all, so man's is even stronger. You know, so they get to UA, they find, you know, class 1A, and then, you know, Izuku is like, ladies first, you know, he opens the door, and he gestures, and he notices Bakugo and Ida, you know, yelling at each other, and, you know, he stops there for a second, he's like, one sec. You know, he walks in. He walks over to Bakugo and Ida. Shut up. Now, you may be wondering, why did you do that, like, thing? Call, you know, this is a hyper, like, it's super weakened neurotox, fear toxin coming out of Midoriya's mouth, causing them to immediately stop and, you know, in fear, look at Midoriya, who they see as, like, this, you know, they see, like, a giant monstrous creature behind him, you know, as Midoriya just smiles and he says, thank you, you know, as it immediately stops and they're like, you know, Bakugo's like, <laughs> How did you get into UA, you villain? Oh, come on, Katsuki. Don't be so rude. You're just mad your quirk isn't as strong as mine. Also, sorry about that. I just didn't want... I just didn't... Want my queen, you know, having to listen to your arguing. Anyway, you know, he opens the door and he's like, after you. You know, she walks in, like, thank you. You know, she looks at all of the class, and they're terrified. You know, they're like, ooh. You know, they're, like, kind of confused on what they saw. And Midoriya walks up, and he's like, oh, yeah. Uh, my quirk is called Scarecrow. It's based off of a really, really old villain. I named it after a really, really old villain because back when I first started using it, I could only do what he was known for, creating a fear toxin. Now, of course, my fear toxin is hundreds of times stronger, and I have to dumb it down a lot so I don't, you know, cause anyone to have a heart attack. But... That's besides the point. I have to check to see if I'm still recording. Anyway. Uh, where was I? Oh, yeah. So, you know, Midoriya is like, so, I'm only going to give you two rules that you have to follow. One, as long as you're chill with me, I'm chill with you. But, if you do something perverted or you insult my queen I'm gonna make you wish you were never born I'm not even gonna use my quirk I'm gonna just make you wish that you were never born you know all of them you know they're like whoa such hostility you know Tenya's like that is no way to talk about you know talk to your fellow classmates and he's like listen like I said I'm chill with you, I'm chill with you, if you chill with me. I didn't mean anything as a threat. Just saying. You hurt my queen's feelings. I'm a, I'm a hurt you without my quirk. Anyway, so, you know, Aizawa was like, man, man is a king. You know, he says that while in a sleeping bag, you know. And then, uh... 
you know, all of them look over and see Azawa as he gets up, and, you know, he's like, so, if you're here, like he said, well, no, he didn't say like he said. Listen, if you're here to make friends, you can leave now. Well, except for those two. You know, he points to uh, Izuku and Momo. They made it in. They earned their spots. You know, and they're like, huh? How is that fair? Because Midori over here is also, I'm about to make this kind of sad, but it's really unoriginal. Because Midori over here was completely disowned by his family after they found out his quirk was kind of villainous. So he works as hard as he can to prove he can be a hero. Even with a villain like quirk. And Miss Yayorozu over here was neglected because her parents thought she wasn't strong enough. Because of of them being together, they they help each other grow. And because of that, Midoriya's quirk has evolved to where he doesn't fear his quirk. His quirk fears him. Now you may be wondering, what do you mean by his quirk fears him? It's more of a metaphor, really. And anyway, and Yairozu over here has shown leaps and bounds in improvements. I'm proud to have you two as my students. You know, they're like, Aizawa, you know, Midori's like, Aizawa. You know, Midnight walks by like, huh, I didn't, so, didn't know nothing so nice could come out of you. As she walks into the class, hey Zuzu, hey Mo. You know, they're both like, hey, Noru. Mama's like, oh, hey, Midnight Sensei. And Midori's like, oh, hey, Nara. Hey, Nu. Just because, you know, they give each other cute little nicknames. It's adorable. You know, he does that classic Midori, pure 100% sun energy smile. You know, all of the girls in class, you know, all the girls are like, our hearts, we can't take it. You know, all the guys are like, dear God, it's blinding. <laughs> you know, Momo had created three pairs of sunglasses for her, Noru, Noru, and Aizawa. They just put them on like, that's our son. There can only be one. You know, Momo's like, there can only be one. You know, she creates a rocket launcher. <laughs> Sticks out of the window. Huh. You know, she's about to scream. Ha -ha. You know, Midori's like, whoa, 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 wait, Momo, how many times do I have to tell you? Don't fire an anti-sun rocket at the sun. <sighs> but there can only be one. Listen, without that, we'd all be dead. So please, calm down. <laughs> She's like, fine. As, you know, the thing disappears. He's like, at least you, the oh Lord. Now, anyway, Midoriya, you know, after a few minutes, you know, after a few minutes, they all go outside. Quirk apprehension test. Midoriya and Momo are excluded, so they're, they get the immunity. Hit him with the immunity. Anyway, so, uh, where was I? Oh, yeah. So, you know, Mineta gets the boot. Ooh, do I want to do this? Do I? Yes. Yes, I do. Uraka gets the boot. I don't like her. Pretty much established from day one. I really don't. Mm -mm. Really, really don't. I just don't know why I really don't like her. Anyway. Um. Where was I at? Oh, yeah. 
So, you know, they get, they go back inside, yada yada yada, time skips. So now it's time for the Heroes vs. Villains exam. Now I am going to do this one, but it's going to be really quick. Uh, everything goes according to canon, except for Midoriya gets paired up with Momo. Also, Mineta was also kicked out because of perviness. So, you know, it's an even class now. So Midoriya's like, I have a plan. Can you make a door? She's like, yeah, I can make a door. Can you put it on here? Yeah, I can put... Wait, are you just going to gas them? I am going to gas them. Oh, crap. I forgot to do the suit-up scene. Uh, never mind. We rewind. You know, rewind. You know, Aerie comes out of nowhere like, yes, sir. <laughs> you know, and her horn lights up. <clears throat> so, you know, All Might's like, I'm coming through the door like a normal person. Like a hero or whatever. You know, uh, da 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 he presses a button, a bunch of suitcases come out, you know. Midoriya suits up, and, like I said, You know, and Momo's like, wow, your hero costume is terrifying. Then again, I should have expected as much. Yeah, yours looks nice. You know, she's like, stop. He's like, what? You look good. Can we talk about this later? He's like, all right, all right. So, at whose house? You know, she's like, the what? You know, she turns red, and Midoriya is like, yeah. you know, he's like giggling, you know, he's chuckling. You know, everyone in class one is like, dang, he's smooth. Man's got the moves. Anyway, so Midoriya, you know, and Momo gets put on a team versus Bakugo, and. Oh. Oh. Oh, that hurt. Oh, my leg just popped. Oh dear God. <laughs> In case anyone fell asleep, good morning. Welcome back to reality. Ow. Crap. Whatever. Anyway, uh, anyway, getting back to the whiff. Midoriya, you know, he is like, yeah, I'm about to gas him with knockout. I'm not gonna make him crap themselves. You know, so he walks in, you know, he holds up his arm and he's like, you know, he starts releasing, uh, knockout gas. You know. Also, Midoriya suit is like armor plated ish. Like his suit was helped created by Momo and her family. So it's like, it's like a cloth Kevlar, it's pretty much an indestructible suit, and the mask is you know, equally indestructible, but, you know, cool, cool. You know, so he releases the gas, they all, they both get knocked out, hero team wins. Um, what now, what now, what now? Also, credit to the artist who made those two pictures, because I do not claim them. They are not mine. Anyway. 
again, Doria then states, you know, they're going to the USJ, but Doria's like, I got a bad feeling about this, you know, Danger Sense starts going off, and he's like, Aizawa, we gotta get everybody out of here now, he's like, alright problem child, I'm trusting you on this, as villains show up, and he's like, huh, what do you know, and Mario's like, what do you mean, what do you know, I thought you were lying, what the, Man, whatever. You know, so they square up, they start fighting villains, you know. Midoriya is using knockout gas. You know, Midoriya, you know, he's like, before they hop down, you know, he grabs his arm and he's like, wait. You know, he's, you know, he makes the tiny little syringe. He's like, what are you doing? Well, I'm about to give you a hand. So if you shush for a second. You know, he, j he pretty much jabs all five fingers into Aizawa's arm. He's like, what are you giving me? I'm giving you a strength boost, speed boost. I'm giving you a strength and speed boost through one, you know, the Bane. I'm giving you a reflexes boost, adrenaline, a healing boost, a quirk enhancing boost, and a senses boost. So you can pretty much feel when someone's coming. You know, he pulls out his uh, syringes, and then he uses uh, a thermite-like gas, you know, an ignitable gas around his fingers, and then, you know, he snaps, and it just ignites, burning off all the blood from Aizawa, you know. And then, you know, he gives himself an injection, you know, and he's like, alright, let's do this. You know, he one for all's up. You know, they run down there. Also, he gave him a knockout resistant, you know, a super awake shot, pretty much, because he's about to release a whole bunch of knockout toxin. You know, he gave him a uh, resistant to all of the toxins he can release. You know, but this is like a permanent thing, so he's pretty much always immune to him. Anyway, so yeah, they start taking out all the villains. Midoriya sees the big guy and he's like, Aizawa, that thing's not human. You know, it's, I was like, yeah, I figured. You want it? Oh yeah, you bet your butt. You bet I do. You know, he starts running over to the Nomu. He's like, huh? You know, the Nomu in this is a lot tougher. Because, you know, it was revealed that All Might did have an injury, and it was healed by Midoriya, which made him kind of famous. You know, so the, uh, this one was made with a full-on, you know, a super shock absorption quirk. Midoriya's like, oh, so you think you know the way of the strength. I was born in strength, molded by it. I, am a, I have a horrible Bane impression. It's whatever, though. So Midoriya's like, here, let me show you some fear. You know, he jabs his uh, finger syringes into the sides of the Nomu, and he's like, now, let's have you turn to cinders. You know, he releases a, uh, a chemical makeup into the Nomu's blood that, when interacts with a certain amount of oxygen, will cause ignition and is highly flammable. Basically, the moment the chemical gets to the Nomu's lungs, Nomu bursts into flames. You know, he takes his thing, you know, he takes his syringes out and he's like, oh yeah, that's cool. You know, and he's like, I should, yeah. Anyway, so, yeah, uh, what's his face? Kurgiri and Shigaraki get away. And yada, 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 yada. I'm sorry I haven't done much with the ship in this, but, you know, it's like 3 in the morning, so I'm kind of tired and I'm about to go really down. But uh, that's going to be it for this time, guys. I do hope you enjoyed.